Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be taking some show trucks out to the mud pits to see how far they can actually go before they get completely swamped out, and uh, let's say their their level of show truckness catches up with them. Now, I have put some really interesting uh, customization options on these trucks, and some of those you won't even be able to see until we start them up to take them off the trailer. I've also left links in the description box below for any of those of uh, any. any any of you, really, that might be looking for information on how you might be able to get your hands on the trucks that are on the trailer. And then the truck that I'm using as a tow rig is the Ford OBS known as Poseidon, which is available on the console mod browser. But without any further ado, let's fire this thing up, we'll get out to the mud pits, and I'll show you guys what we brought in the trailer. And as you can see, they're not just your run-of-the-mill show trucks. We have a single-wheel F-350 show truck in the front, and a massive, massive GMC Denali HD on the back of the trailer. We've even put a bed cap on this thing. We've put a roof rack on it. I mean, these are fully built. I mean, they're not just show trucks. These things are essentially SEMA trucks, and I cannot wait to see how far they can actually go once we get into the mud. But let's go ahead and head out. Might, uh, might help if we took the handbrake off there. Also, I love how this truck on these tires, like this particular tire size with the tow suspension, is literally the perfect height to tow the six-unit gooseneck. I mean, it could not be a more perfect height for this trailer. The trailer is exactly level, and I haven't even used the active suspension mode. I haven't, you know, raised the rear up. I haven't done anything like that. It is literally perfect right out of the box. Let's slow down real quick using the trailer brakes. I'm gonna swing really wide here and then cut back in, just so we don't risk catching this trailer on anything. God, that view though, the view of those trucks on the back of the trailer, wow. What a setup though, that right there, I, I've gotta get a picture of that. That is absolutely incredible, and so is that. The view of those trucks on the trailer, holy smokes, what an absolute unit of a setup, like everything to do with this setup is genuinely an absolute unit. <laughs> oh, I love that. It looks so good. All right, now, this map, Rock Runner Mud Park, has so many different obstacles, so many different mud obstacles, that you could essentially unload these trucks anywhere and you'd be good to go. And also, I do want to make you guys aware of the fact that this truck, the, the tow rig, is only running the mid-range tune with the heavy haul transmission. I'm not even running the high-end tune, and it doesn't even feel like it needs any more. I mean, it feels completely competent to haul these two trucks on this particular suspension tune, or not even suspension tune, but sorry, engine tune. Now, let me make my way around this next couple of corners. I don't know why, by the way, I seem to be walking over what I'm saying, because that just happens sometimes. My brain gets ahead of what I'm actually saying with my voice. Let's pull up to the main mud pit obstacle. I might launch them off that jump in a little bit, but maybe not yet, not yet. I wanna have my fun with these things before we absolutely send them into oblivion. Now, this mud pit right here is absolutely nasty. It's gnarly, so we're not gonna start out with that one. We're gonna go to the big, big mud pit that's like super, super wide. Now, the cool thing about that one is that we can actually kind of, you know, get a feel for where these things start to spin, where they start to bog out, before we really, like, send them into something that they're not going to be ready for. So let's pull up right here. I think we're going to pull along that right-hand side. We also got a big launch ramp right there if we really want to send these. I mean, if you really want to send them, trust me, you can send them on this map. There is no shortage of places to send your trucks. All right, this should be as good of a place as any to go ahead and pull up. And then now, let me go ahead and unpack and then repack. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just gonna leave them unpacked now. Uh, let me activate the radar as well, so you guys can see the radar running right there next to Beans. And then that should give us access to a lot more of the map. Yeah, in terms of just visuals. So let's put the ramps down, and we'll shut the engine off. And it looks like the first thing to come off the trailer might actually end up being Oh, dude, it might end up being the Denali. Oh, I love both of these, though. Like, these trucks are just... They are next level, dude. Like, they are absolutely next level detail, next level quality. 
I mean, when you want to talk about going above and beyond on these things, yeah, yeah, buddy went above and freaking beyond. All right, let's go ahead and swap over to the 2020 Denali, and let me fire this thing up, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be quiet for this startup, because this thing, I, it doesn't matter how many times I start it up, it sounds incredible every time. And then with the red headlights, the red headlights absolutely, I think, really set it off with the red wheels. The red wheels, I feel like, would look out of place without the red headlights. All right, so let's see if we can get this thing set up and positioned to where we're not going to send it into, like, a very stuck situation right off the bat. Let me make my way to the edge right here. Oh, boy. This is going to be an interesting time, isn't it? All right. I think we're going to do a boosted launch and then just send this thing. I was going to see if I could launch it in the mud, but I don't think I'm going to launch it in the mud just yet. All right. Almost there, and send it. Put it in high, and let me see if I can run it around the edge of the mud pit before we kind of head towards the middle. If we head towards the middle right off the bat, we will probably get this thing stuck. Let's get a little bit of first-person view action going on. Oh, it's... Oh, God! We're getting the interior all muddy. It's spinning. It's spinning bad. Can we find some traction? Actually, yes. Yes, we can. Come on. Maybe vary the throttle input just a little bit. Get out of the grass. What the heck are you doing in the grass, dude? Oh, no, 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 don't sink it just yet. Don't sink it just yet, please, no. All right, there we go. High range will sink it if the mud starts to get deep, but, I mean, as long as you can keep your momentum, you're okay. Now, in the deeper stuff, yes, it will start to get a little bit iffy, but keep in mind, these are not mud trucks. These are show trucks, so the fact that this thing is out here doing even this is honestly pretty, pretty gnarly, pretty wild. Not bad, though. Let me see if I can get a little bit more, a little bit more risky and go out into the... Never mind. I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to get stuck if I do that, huh? I'm probably going to get real stuck real quick if I try to head out into the middle. It's not even doing that bad, though. Oh, look at that front end when you turn all the lights on. <laughs> Dude, that front end is insane with the lights on. Well, it's actually shallow enough there. Yeah, dip lock and all-wheel drive are always on, but... Even when it gets a little bit shallower, it depends on where you're at. Because, like, you can still very easily sink this thing. Not a bad run for it, though. Like, not a bad run for it through such an incredibly deep mud pit. I mean, this mud pit is nothing to joke about, nothing to sneeze at. I have seen full-on mud trucks get stuck out there. So, really good run from this thing. Now, let's head into the Ford, get that started up, and see what it can do. And I don't know, some of y'all might not agree with me on this, but I think the purple headlights look sick with this tan paint job. I I cannot get enough of the purple headlights with the tan paint job. I think they look so good. And you know what? As a matter of fact, yes, yes, that does indeed warrant a picture. I think it warrants, warrants a picture anyway. I, I, I know that I maybe take too many of these, but I, and honestly, like, half of them I don't even use for anything. But it's okay, because, like, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm filling my hard drive up with pictures of trucks. I'm good with that. All right, so let's... Oh, God, this thing feels... This thing feels properly spicy. Boosted launch, and send it! Oh, wow, this thing is really fast. I almost flipped it right off the bat. This thing is a lot faster than the GMC. Holy smokes! I don't know how much boost that they're pushing through this 6.7 power stroke, but it's a lot. Like, it, oh my god. I didn't even realize that, ooh, pick the front axle up right there, okay. This thing is silly fast. Come on, find some grip. Oh, it's starting to dig, it's starting to dig. Let me see if I can get it back into first gear. There we go. It's fighting for it. It is absolutely fighting for it. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing, I mean, regardless of which one you like better or regardless of which one I like better, uh, this thing shreds in the mud. It absolutely shreds. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, let's see what happens if I try to take it into the deeper stuff. It's still going. Okay, there we go. It started to bog out then, but even then, I did not expect that kind of a performance out of this truck. I didn't even expect anywhere near that kind of performance out of it. That was... That was properly admirable. 
I'm gonna need to put it in low probably to get out of this part because this is really, really deep and there's not really much of a rhyme or reason to which areas of this mud pit are super deep. And so you have to be really, really careful and you have to really, really watch out when you're out here. But as long as you do that, you'll, you'll be okay. Trust me, you'll be okay. All right, low plus, back into automatic mode because I think we should be good from there. Almost. Let's see if it'll take high range. Oh, it will. And it sends it out of there. Dude, we rippled the fender a little bit in the back or rippled the bedside, I suppose. But that is, that is pretty next level. I'm going to back these things onto the trailer to head to the next area. But wow, that was, that was a lot more next level than I thought it was going to be. That was insane. All right, let me center you up a little bit on the trailer because you, there we go. You are not centered whatsoever. I could not get over that startup sound. Even if the Ford is faster, bro, this thing has the best startup sound. It really does. Easy and boom. All right, those should be good to go. Back into the tow rig and let's head on to the next obstacle. Now, for curiosity's sake, since they did so well in the big mud pit, I decided to bring both of these trucks to an obstacle that's a little bit more difficult. And when I say a little bit more difficult, it will probably swamp them out within a few seconds, but I just want to see how far they can actually genuinely make it. So let's fire up the Duramax. God, I still cannot get over how good that thing looks with those red headlights and the freaking fully lit up front end like all the light pods all the light bars it is next level and top notch and really again the red headlights really do tie everything together now these mud lanes right here are absolutely nasty they have swamped out mud trucks before but with that in mind i'm gonna get a big run up and we're gonna see what these show trucks can do in three two oh god all right a little bit weird with the boosted launch there, but three, two, one, go! Send it! Can you not even go anywhere in low? Uh, kinda. Okay, I'll give it like, I'll give it a couple seconds to find some traction, but I think, well, I mean, it's making progress. That's the thing, like, it's making progress. It's not completely stopped in its tracks, but the progress itself is very slow, so I think we might have found the limit of that thing. What about this truck? Now, ironically enough, this thing is not as tall in terms of its lift kit as the Duramax is. And that's interesting because it certainly did not lack for ability um, in the other mud pit. So let's back this thing up once again. Same recipe, boosted launch. And let's go. Come on. Oh, yep, nope. Actually, same result. Actually, worse result. Because here, the height is what's really mattering. Because this thing is ever so slightly inching forward, but nowhere near as much as the GMC was. And that's mainly because the GMC was just lifted that much higher. Now, were the limits of these trucks fairly easy to find? I mean, yeah. But at the same time, we took them way outside their element. And I think in terms of being taken outside their element, especially with like very show-oriented wheel and tire setups, I think they did really, really well. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and there's anything else that you would like to see, make sure to leave any of your thoughts, opinions, and or suggestions down in the comment section below. I read all the comments. I try to interact with as many of them as I can. And also, if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.